Good morning, everybody. It's so warm here today. It's the first day where it's going to be 15 degrees Celsius. So I'm so excited to work on the gardens today or we'll see what I can do. Uh, but first, come join me as we visit the gardens and see the current status. I hope it's not that messy and I hope I won't have to do a lot of things. But we'll see. So come with me and thank you for joining me. This door is <laughs> not aligned to the frame anymore. It needs to be uh, fixed. But I can still close it. It's just uh, crooked. Um, anyway, the water line, I have to set that up as well today. Because I'm going to need to water the high tunnel. So as you can see, these beds needs a serious repair. Um, some of them gave up and it's completely broken. We just put some support last year. Um, we added more support. As you can see, it's like mostly supports. <laughs> um, this is almost giving up as well. Look at that. Look at this one. So this one gave up just before winter. So that needs fixing. I forgot some onions here in the fall. Um, so there's a lot of weeds growing in these beds. And it's home to voles. So we set up some traps, but we haven't caught any yet, so we don't know where they are. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to catch some and uh, reduce their population because it's just so hard to deal with voles here. That's our, I believe, number one competitor. Um, normally I just add some manure on top of the existing soil. Manure and then soil. It looks pretty bad, but once it's fixed, it's going to be fine. So let's go to the other one. Oh, Miley. Miley, you're not allowed to go in there. Come on outside. Come on. Miley, come here. Miley. So we're going to check the orchard see what's going on here and what's uh, popping up or waking up uh, I have a lot of mints here I think this is chocolate mint so that's good a lot of or not a lot but a few apple trees they're starting to bud now too this is honey crisp and all the apple trees have uh, comfrey growing beside them there are a lot of uh, egyptian walking onions that i planted in 2021 a crab apple that didn't do well last year i have some perennial bunching onions here some thyme um i think that's gooseberry this one is another apple tree this is prairie uh, sensation another comfrey beside it we discovered that we had a lot of wild raspberries growing on the property so we transplanted this one from the greenhouse area so philip digged them and transplanted here so we don't know if it's alive or not i hope it is got some from the store as well i have two of these we have plum that we planted in 2021. Um, it's a hardy plum, but we haven't had any fruits from it. But it's growing every year. It's not dead. It's the first garlic bed that I uh, planted in 2021. And now this is a perennial bed. Uh, there's also Egyptian walking onions here. Wildflowers. Perennial bunching onions. And I'm gonna have to add more flowers. It's another crab apple. It's called Dolgo crab apple. 
uh, another apple it's called odyssey it's budding now some strawberries growing around the tree here we have harcourt apple and this tree and the other crab apple we just got them last fall so we planted them late in i believe october last year and it's now budding i also have nanking cherry here it looks pretty bad <laughs> but it's alive it comes back every year a ton of uh, valerian around the orchard and I could see some growth. Can you see that? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and I'm so happy to see. They grow like so tall. Yeah. It's Valerian. Uh, we use it for tea. Although I haven't had a chance to harvest the roots last year. So I'm going to have to do that this year. This one is honeyberry. We have two, one male and one female. Our bee bum are now back. You can see that. I'm gonna have to remove the dried stuff so you can see. They smell so good. I can smell them now. There is chamomile in the corner there. There's another lavender there that I bought from the store. And more perennial bunching onions here. Wild basil is this one. We have some growth here, as you can see there. But I'm gonna have to remove and cut back these dead branch. So chives is coming back too. And I planted some asparagus here in two years ago. They came back last year, but they're still tiny, so we don't know when we're going to be able to harvest. Saskatoon berry there. We also discovered last year that we have a lot of Saskatoon berries growing around. This bed is mostly strawberries. This one in the middle is chicken manure. And I'm just adding these uh, scraps. I just threw the uh, coffee grounds here and eggshells and banana peels. The chickens doesn't like them. So I'm gonna have to mix that later. More valerian. Uh, there is a uh, coneflower or another echinacea. Wild basil. Jerusalem artichokes that I planted here two years ago. 2021. Fall, fall of 2021. Almost three years ago. So, I haven't had a chance to dig them. My rhubarb is coming back. I think uh, the swallows are back now. I could hear them. Okay, so we need to build a door here or a gate in this garden that the dogs go inside and uh, dig the ground, which I don't want them to do. Anyway, as you can see, it's quite messy here, but it's not really a mess because these are boxes that I saved over winter. The plan is to flatten them and lay it in between paths so I won't see much of the weeds oh there's rub in there can you see? beautiful I'm gonna have to fix two beds for potatoes and then um, probably I'm gonna use one bed for onions and the rest will be for cabbage there's a lot of bowls here I tried to plant some carrots and beets here last year, but the voles just ate them all. Yeah. And 
There's a big hole here. I don't know if you can see how big that is. And these guys, I left them here over winter. <laughs> they went. They they grew so big, and uh, I didn't want to bother removing them. The animals can eat them. But this is my garlic bed. This bed and that U-shaped bed are all garlic. But around 305, if I remember correctly. Oh, I just noticed some of them are awake now. How come these guys are not yet popping out? Well, that's weird. This is fast. This bed is Italian porcelain. But it's awake now. Okay, I was able to flatten some boxes, but I remembered I have to uh, make the mushroom beds, so I'm gonna be setting that up in this garden. Um, so I'll show you where I'm thinking of setting up the mushroom bed. Um, North Spore was kind enough to send me some wine cap mushrooms. I've been wanting to grow my own mushrooms. So I'm so excited for that. I'm gonna be setting up the mushroom bed here. Okay, let's do that. I still have to um, place these boxes along the pathway. I'm so tired of weeding, but you know, weeds are good because the chickens love it. And I can forage some of them, but it gets crazy sometimes. I'm gonna have to water these so I'm gonna have to set up the hose because our water line is still not set up so I just realized I think it would be easier to just use the water that we left in this uh, barrel so I'm gonna get a container or a water jug Do you want to swim? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> well, don't do that. You're so curious. <laughs> There's at least three layers of cardboard boxes and feed bags here. I have to haul the wood chips here. Uh, it's by the chicken coop. So let's do that. Okay, there's at least uh, I would say two inches of wood chips on top of the three layers of cardboard boxes and feed bags 
I'm gonna have to water this and then take the mushroom uh, spawns to layer them on top of the chips and then add more chips after that so it's like lasagna style kind of okay so this is our wine cap so the spawn from North Store thank you guys again for sending this to me I cannot wait to harvest uh, mushrooms uh, hopefully sooner than six six months I believe so wine cap also known as Trofaria rugoso anulata. Let's start spreading that on the bed. I just want you guys to see how it looks. It looks like mold, but that's what produces the mushrooms. I think uh, my bed is big enough what do you think we'll see Okay, so we just added the second layer of wood chips and uh, sawdust spawn, but I still have a lot. I would probably scatter some of the spawn in the orchard, in the wood chips there, because um, they're kind of established and we have some more else growing there last two years ago. buckets and we're done um, I don't want to bring the whole bag here because it's quite heavy so I'm just gonna do them using this bucket okay so while I'm uh, picking up some chips I decided that I'm just gonna finish the whole bag of the spawn on this bed I don't have much left but I still have look at that it's still a lot so it's gonna be three layers I hope it's gonna work. <laughs> I'm uh, kind of worried, but if we don't try, we won't know. I'm gonna have to keep checking the moisture level because that's very important. It has to be consistently moist. So I'm gonna be finishing this bag. Um, I'm gonna have to cover the last layer of spawn with at least three to four inches of chips so the moisture level is consistent um, in the next coming week and then I have to keep checking if it's moist probably at least once a week let's get more wood chips and then we're gonna have to water them sure that it's uh, saturated enough I have to find something to use as a cover it has to be covered I have to find an alternative or something that I can use to cover the whole bed so it doesn't dry out fast anyway I'm so excited. It will take a while, but you know, uh, come fall, probably we'll be able to harvest some mushrooms. So I'll keep you guys updated. Anyway, let's find a cover. I have a lot of boxes, so I'm gonna be using boxes to cover the bed. Okay, so I think we're done. I just have to put more branches like this one. 
just so it won't fly so I think it's protected from the Sun now it's not gonna dry out fast but I'm gonna have to check that again next Saturday huh it's exciting isn't it you know if I did good <laughs> or if I uh, made my bed correctly I'm not sure but we'll find out probably in the fall or end of fall if it's gonna work and if we should see some mushrooms growing thank you guys and I'm gonna have to do more work in the orchard so come with me and our day is not over <laughs> but I'm gonna have to have some lunch and start working again in the garden thank you again North Spore for sending this I appreciate you guys and I cannot wait to let you know how this turns out their website I'm gonna link them down below I don't have a code yet but they're setting it up wine cap is the easiest mushroom to grow and good for beginners like me <laughs> instead of heading back in the garden find out where bond and i ended up on the next video see you next time